Welcome back guys to Golden Sun Dark Dawn, where now that we have the Alchemy Forge at full tilt, with the Soul Mask having been placed, the barriers have extended around the town of Passage, and we now have shops to buy from. We've got to visit the Cloud Passage first, in a way that it seems that we might not actually be going forward right yet, which is good for us, because of course we want to revisit the Harappa now that water is flowing that way. So first of all, before we do anything, let's get to doing some buying. I've already sold all the items in my menu in terms of like weapons and gear that are not equipped, so I can make some space. As you can see from the artifact screen there, we've got like a little bit extra in here. The blow mace, which is one, Sinji Rod, yada yada. Sinji Rod is what we want to buy, however. I'm thinking of replacing the Elven Rapier for it. So let's do that. And we can even sell it back for 1,650, so that works out for me. I'm quite happy with that. Right, from here, it's going to be mainly defensive stuff, because while we can upgrade some stuff which is basic items, in fact, maybe the Blow Mace would have been good on Blessed Ankh, sir. But, you know, it's fine either way. And we can use the Composite Bow instead of the Battle Rapier, for example. And give a little bit of a boost to a friend. It's not exactly that much power. Whereas defense is probably something we'll need more of. The safety boots are the only boots still to buy there. Alright, let's get an iron shield. Stick that onto you, sir. And do the selling as fast as possible. We only get one and two defense for the silk robe there, so I don't think that's exactly that great. The Adept's clothes also give boost to PP, don't they? Synergy armor, no. Leather's bracelet, no. Iron helm, yes, on Matthew. We need to care a little bit more about our money, I think, at the moment. So while we do want to buy stuff that does do straight upgrading, the Silver Circlet is a really bump up in price. So I think I might wait for another artifact or something to stick on to Reef over there. But all the same, leather boots on several members of our party. Not a bad idea. Let's buy a full set, eh? And on you, sir. Six defense versus zero defense is always appreciated. Should I buy some for the future, considering we might get more party members? Reef, have another pair. Yeah, equip the new pair, and I won't sell the other one. Just in case. It's better to put something on someone. We'll probably find other variants after all. There's the safety boots there. This kid is stuck. What's wrong with him? What's wrong? Ah! Well, we need to go to the Cloud Passage. Well, that AI bugs out over there. Find out a route for further forward. Let's put it that way. We don't want to cross it though, so let's hope it doesn't force us to do that. Poof. I thought we to get it here in time to save goodbye. What happened? You tell us. That wasn't much of a cloud passage, Bargy. What about the legends about getting to Craggy Peak? We got the forge working! I could jump higher than that cloud carried us. You owe us, Spargy. I I don't know what's wrong. Ooh, oh, Karis, push. Leave him alone, Tyrrell. I'm sure the Baggy told us everything he knows. We're close, I just know it. The forge is at least trying to make a cloud for us. I agree with Reef, so we must still be missing something that we need to get across. Yes, it seemed like that cloud was too... too misty. Too fluffy. Yes, yes. The clouds from our fiery forge must be too hot and misty. They need to be cooled down and made more substantial somehow, because we want riding on clouds, because that's always a good idea. Indeed, young ones, and our legends may again serve you. Hey, Scrams! Please tell us, Scrams! Baggy, don't ever call me that! Elder, please share your wisdom. What's this about further legends? I vaguely recall something about ice. Hmm. My memories are a little too foggy. Is that supposed to be a pun? Will perhaps the other elders remember more? No, they're useless. Their combined knowledge may provide the answer. We have some old tales about a blue gemstone. A gemstone? That sounds like what we needed to put the alchemy well in reverse. 
couldn't have put the well in reverse without the power from the Sand Prince Stone. Sand Prince Stone? It sounds related to our own Ice Queen Stone! The Ice Queen Stone? This gem was created by the ancient Neox. It looks like a frozen teardrop by the look of it. Frost spell, maybe? Princess, queens, gemstones, what a royal mystery! Everyone's declaring themselves royalty nowadays. Ah, some of it's coming back to me now. This gemstone once vanished from Passage. More like it was stolen. Didn't a monk take it from Passage many years ago? I just changed the old man's voice all the time. It's all good. Are you getting some insight? Or... Are you okay, Amity? Sand Prince spoke to me once more. He said that he knows of a woman who escaped from a gemstone. She's in a maze somewhere, he says, hoping that she will never be found. What does that mean, Amity? She's a woman who is using her power to revive an area that once lay in ruins. She's a greedy creature, giving up only a tiny fraction of her power to help people. And that is all he says. We need to find the Sand Prince to deal with the alchemy well. And I bet we need to find this woman to sort out the alchemy forge. To further forge in reverse, you mean? Maybe you're right. An area that once lay in ruins. We all know of such a place, of course. We do. A wrapper. That's it, no doubt. Now we know exactly what to do to create a solid cloud passage. I wouldn't say exactly. Uh, how did you... Who spoke to... I found a man in AFA who's actually a gemstone, and only Amity can hear him talk. Really, Buggy, you've got to try and keep up better. He would have quite a fight before he came along with us, however. So I bet this queen won't come along quietly either. I'll admit that I find this all perplexing too. Gemstones, queens? I can't believe that they're one and the same. Still, we must defeat this woman to get the Ice Queen's stone. Alright, let's go, Matthew. Let's find this queen. I suspect that the ancient world was far stranger than we can imagine. Be careful, warriors. Our Ice Queen stone was said to be beautiful. If this woman is just as alluring, I hope you don't fall victim to her charms. Maggie! Don't you have Aaron standing in Passage? Please, don't be a bother to our friends. Well, I... Take care, everyone. See ya. Well, I don't think we need help from the elders. They're pretty crap, to be honest. I mean, would you get help from them? We talked to them once before. They're not exactly the sharpest tools in the shed. Elders are elders by being elder. Do you know what I mean? Doesn't mean that they actually have earned their rank. Business or privilege. Getting old does not give one wisdom. Well, you know, completely. Makes your life learned. A little bit. More time to accumulate wisdom. Just does not mean you're wise. Half, half of me went then. Hmm, I'm getting older now. Maybe I should make it out like as old people are great. But no. Can't do it. There are plenty of old dumb people as much as there are young smart people. Plenty of young dumb people as much as they're old smart people. Well, Harappa it is! A monger and a mad mole appears to stop us in our tracks. We've got a new weapon, you know. I'm gonna bash you to death with it. Of course, you got that Zol Ring now. Oh, we dodged the. So it's a good weapon. You can't even hit. We've got the Zol Ring on Amity, so he just went straight for it. I say, Amity's a better fit for the party currently, being all melee oriented and all. Why right then, Harappa, you have grown green and luscious, and also grown green things. Green and luscious, Harappa, we lots of water. Oh, we need frost to get over by the look of it. Well, that's fine. Let's go to the ruins like it actually asked us to do. Ah, the edge, the border of that is a little close. Well, our growth stays, so that's fine. Pass straight on through the town like we don't even care. 
The ruins are what we're after, aren't they? Right, so now it's all floaty floaty, McFloatington. Where can we go? Oh, we can't walk this forward? Okay. Just along the base path made out for us then? What a sham! Can't go anywhere extra. Check out the world. Hoppity hop. As we reach Harappa Ruins. Which is a dead end in and of itself, except for maybe that, which looks like a lift platform. It's green, so it must be keen to take us to the Queen. Yo. Harappa Ruins Basement 3, right. We've got music, and we've got pathways. Split paths. Let's choose the dead end first. And somehow not get the dead end. Well, there's something in the way. Oh, uh, now we can get past that. Hmm, is growth going to be needed a lot here? It's got to be one way, which is a dead end after all. Technically, that's blocked off, but we can still get somewhere here. So it's the same enemies as the ones outside? They're not gonna last for very long, are they? I mean, we know we've got enough damage between everyone anyway. Now, weirdly enough, even though we can grow our way up there, this is the dead end until we've got frost, and then it looks like I can get something from that. Looks like I can move that statue. Alright, hello Griffin, you're a bit bigger. Let's get the two big weapon wielders to go after the Griffin. He's got a fair bit more defense and cast it bind. Character synergy is blocked, oh no, it's like we need it. The Griffin's a bit hardier. We have a couple of howls or so we do well. In fact, it gave us a lot of experience too. So for once I've chose the right side first. The dead end is always what we want. Ah, so if we come back here, it looks like it leads to a treasure chest. Another artifact maybe? Well, good old ice puzzles. We haven't seen you in a while. Do I engage you just yet or not? like I can open up other paths after all. Oh. Momongas. Momongas. One crit will do. I want to see your howling, Karis. We've got a new synergy rod. Alright, Matthew has reached level 19 and learned revive, so that's a useful spell to have with us. Party members have no problem getting more and more experience, do they? Let's just continue along the non-icy paths and find ourselves probably another Mimic. Oh, okay. A bone armlet. And a lucky pepper. Oh, we've also got a hard nut in our bag that I forgot about. Tyrrell's got it, any? he? Amity's a bit low on the defensive scale, weirdly enough. Probably because he's not wearing any super special stuff. Let's boost you up a bit, sir. It's probably the, the exact reason I just stated, but, you know. Right, Bone Armlet, used to haunt a foe. Did Karis get the Lucky Pepper? Who got the Lucky Pepper here? Oh, there it is. It goes to the front of the queue. Well, Amity is not a very lucky person. Increase that a little bit. Right, so apart from that, we got a bone armlet that we want to equip on people. Used to haunt a foe. Well, it's a load better than the latest bracelet for pretty much everyone here. 
Karis has the best defense bonus and is in the front lines, I guess. Well, I guess it would be for you then, Amity. Considering you were languering behind a little bit on the defensive scale. Have that. I'm just going straight past the puzzles here. Alright, moles times a plenty. More. Should use tornado. See what that can take out. Took out the middle one. Super effective against Griffin, man. Wonder if the hurricane would attack the other one as well. Mop takes one damage. You're kidding me. We're too defensive. The Griffins are the real enemies. The moles aren't nothing. It looks like I can fall down somewhere that way if I'm uh, making mistakes. Let's put it that way. I don't know what I'm doing. But it looks like I need a statue. To block that path so I can go to the side? Okay. Just take out the griffin first. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no, we can. Not a problem. Morgan Axe's critical strike has been massive. Why are we going to care about the guy that gives us one damage? We have nothing to fear as Amity learns to play well. Poor Reef getting shuffled out of things straight away. Let's check down here before I go along that way. It looks like I want to fall down the hole after all. I imagine this brings me to the hole. Like if I fall down I get to here. Ooh! I want to fall down the hole to land on a Mercury Gin. We got some crystal powder. Another trust just over there. Just kill the Griffin. Take the rest on the next attack. Run. That's the crit. One. Oh, three. Uh, that's, that's, that's rubbish. These will give us a fresh breeze, eh? How did that one survive your attack, Amity? It's all up to you now. Critical hit. I take it they're weak to fire, then, judging by the damage you did. Let's grab that as well if I can. So it looks like I'm engineering myself to fall down so I can get a Mercury Gin. Ooh, hello! Well, these enemies look a bit more built up. There's a mix between completely weak enemies and normal enemies. Balkan X's barrage has been learned. Critical strike finished off Minotaurus number one. Ooh! Guy hits a bit harder, eh? Oh, we could take him down all the same. 1,093 experience points gained as Karis reaches level 19. Reef has reached level 80 in the back row. We'll take that. And there's me thinking I hadn't even grinded that much. A Viking helm has been found and has been given to Karis. Resist water. You could just give it to Matthew and make him resist everything. In fact, it's only going to go on Matthew. Weirdly enough. I'll choose one to replace. Obviously the Iron Helm. So what, how much does Matthew resist now? He's got... Resist water... Fire... Wind and water. And he's naturally quite good against Earth because of the gin he is. Uh, well, Matthew's a bit... Like, our super don't die character. And he's got revived, so it kind of makes sense. 
It's a little bit ridiculous, and he's got like ridiculous HP. We got Rush out there. Twenty-seven damage to two. That's not even much. Another Berserk Rush, a fresh breeze to top up the party. Now let's finish that guy out. Well, I don't mind the experience, that's for sure. And now we found there's another Mercury Gin to get, so I'm going to get that indeed. Alright, so by the look of it, I'm going up here and then to the left. And it'll probably put me right in the middle of the formation, I bet. Oh, no, not so much. That's a dead end, okay. That took me over to there. Not sure I wanted to get there, to be honest. Let's go out the long way then. Now that's where I want to be going. Unexpected fall right on to a Mercury Gin. Who won't go down without a fight. Right then, Mercury Ginny. One attack. Two attack. Do you think I could? Attack with lava. Critical strike is good. That not so good. No, you've matched the critical strike now yourself. Lava comes before. So Matthew's our slowest now. Yeah, I thought you'd go before, and then I thought that that would take it down with the super weakness strike. Matthew's reached level 20, and has learned Clay Spire. Anyone else to level up? Amity's reached level 18. And we get another gym. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the Mercury Ginny Salak has joined you. It's set to Matthew, which we do not need. His spirit represents the overpowering cold of a glacier and is met at the Harappal ruins. Sarak's attack sucks all the heat away from the environment instantly. Hopefully you didn't hear that weird gulp I just did. Had to get ready, you know? Alright, so we can give someone one wind or one... Fire gym. Oh, you haven't had your... Oh, yeah, your lava's on set because we did that. Well, you can take a fifth fire now. Have fun with that. We still need another Mercury Gin to then be able to pass on that Jupiter Gin over to Karis. But we'll just have to pray and hope we get it one day. There's a Momonga in the middle of all that, is there? If that's the case... Yeah, attack. Is it better than Tornado? No. We'll kill them among her. But we'll see where the attack runs up afterwards. Oh, you will kill him. Nice. And that leaves Matthew to attack that guy. A wing flutter. Woo! Quite a bit more damage than we were expecting to come onto the party, that's for sure. They're definitely bigger and smaller enemies we're currently facing. Got a sacred feather from that guy. What's that? Probably went to Karis, I imagine. No. Tyrrell. Reduces random monster encounters. Okay. It's kind of going, well, if you want to stop fighting things and getting stupid experience. And then part of me goes, no, no. I quite like getting experience, thank you. get new spells. I may not be using them, but I get them. Alright, so there's a switch up over there we need to hit. Okay. Well, that takes me out. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should go the normal route then. It's not a switch, it's just a platform. And he 
gauge this bit from here. What happens if I shoot myself straight down? Oh. Why, this area is jolly. That's, that's helpful. Right, well, we made it to the gin. Gin to win and all. Uh, I can't make it out there now. I have to go all the way round. Foolish. That's what I am. It's a long slide. We've done everything down below. We don't want to fall again. This seems to be where you have to enter it from and then do the puzzle. Obviously you can't go up from... Well, you, you, the only way you can go up is up from here. And then left and up into the area here to find the ice cream stone. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, hello. What's that? Why have you come here? You've come to take me back, haven't you? You look weird. Yes? I can't leave. Just go on without me. What? Don't listen to that. You've come to take me back, haven't you? Yes. You can't leave. Just go on without me. You've come to take me back, haven't you? No. So you're here for the ice cream? No? Please, I can't speak of it. Be on your way now. Okay, you got to choose, like, right conversation dialogue thing. I don't even know who you are. I'm here for the ice cream, yes. Such persistence is dangerous. Leave now for your own good. Well, well, it seems that you restarted the Alchemy Forge. And now you want to put it in reverse to reach the home of the Neox. Who is this guy, then? You may have defeated the Sand Prince, but I will never be returned to the gem. It took me an eternity to dupe someone who's taken me away from Passage. That's the monk. I mean, how often does a silly monk like Nyumpa come along to give me my freedom? Once in a lifetime, that's how often. And I'll go back to a life of servitude. And I can see that you're not going to see reason. You want to carry me away in my gemstone. Or well, the ice cream will not go without a fight, I tell you. Come then, I will shatter you into a million pieces. Okay then, ice cream. Random conversation string. Let's do that. I mean, I've only got like a billion gin that I can hit you with. That said as well, I do have just strong attacks to begin with. I think Ragnarok's still stronger. Right, so we're wanting a hit with a high-powered fire-based strike. The question is, do I try to give people that might be taking that fire-based strike Ooh, I could I could buff our attack as well. Is it second attack buffer? I think boosting our resistance as well is probably not a bad idea. I think she's gonna attack with mostly spell stuff. So 40 resistance. Boost Tyrell's attack. Boost the party's attack. Ragnarok's gas. One, four, two. Nice. Ice missile. Of course we were expecting. Ah! Crushing damage onto Karis. Right. Well, we know that we're going to have to start healing. Luckily, you are faster than her. As we start ginning to winning. Should I use the second one? Yes. Healthy Wind comes out to top back up Karis a little bit. She took more damage than that, however. Chill. With some Frosty Goop. We lower that. Oh, I don't think we actually did lower any defense. Lava comes out to do 223 damage. Defense drops by 16. Stormbrand criticals. Nice. Illusion Veil. And we're deluded. Hopefully, nothing will go bad about that, he says. We 
fresh allies and restore HP. I think we just want to attack, but we got to kind of hope that somehow we don't randomly delude ourselves into completely killing ourselves. Let's try and delude. And then apart from that, we have ourselves a tier 2 summon ready. Nice. Shall I use it? It's probably not going to do too much damage, but it allows our gin to reset. Glad you didn't cast it on the enemy, if that's what delusion actually is. So another summon comes out. When do I click back? Then, by the look of it. Strike. 95 damage. Rubbish. But our war power's gone up, I guess. Hurricane coming out, probably not too bad if it does the stats drop, but it didn't do it at all. Fever comes out. 177 damage. Ice Queen is now wrapped in delusion, but its defense has gone back to normal. If we do one more, we can technically get the super summon for the fire line out. Depending if our enemy can actually last that long. Right. My enemy's deluded. We don't know if that actually really means something. up Matthew's power a bit. Super Fireline is getting there. Does Brand actually attack as well is the question I have for myself. Or will we beat her before we even get a chance to summon that tier 4 summon? Oh, she dodged. She cast Break. Ah, oh, status abilities are going back to normal. It doesn't attack, but a synergy sealed. That's kind of handy. Chaos is clearly once again, so it's Tyrrell. Ice Queen does as well. But your synergy sealed. So, ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Well, with that, we have the Tier 4 Meteor. Now, will she die beforehand or not? Should we defend? And allow it to happen. With a synergy seal, we're not looking too bad after all. Oh, what's an icy kiss? 48 damage, not too bad, I guess. This meteor is summoned. Look so good for her. As the Ice Queen goes down, taking 614 damage from a super strike from, well, Orbit. He felt the Ice Queen indeed. Chill is set back, Matthew sees clearly, and the battle is done. 2,402 experience, Karras has reached level 20. No new things learned. Chill has reached level 20 as well. MVP. Summoning a big meteor from space always a, a bit of a task. I can't! No! As it is, but a gemstone again. Well, I guess she realises her place now. We defeated her! We had the Ice Queen Stone! We did win, didn't we? I do feel a little bad, forcing her back in that gem. And we never learned the true nature of these gemstones. Which came first, the gem or the queen? Well, let's just pocket that stone and be on our way to back to Passage. The stone is deep. Eep, this stone is eep. What kind of talk is that for a brainy kid like you, Reef? We freed him. Silly old monk. Greetings, good warriors. How long I've waited for someone to challenge her. Thanks to you, I'm free at last. A ghost. Ghost? Oh, don't put me beyond the grave quite yet. I've still got a few years left in me. That monk, I hear his voice inside my head, which is why it's strong and manly like mine. Don't be frightened. I have the gift of reading minds. I 
can see into the depths of your hearts. Nothing escapes my vision. Oh yeah? Then what am I thinking? Easily answered. Hatcher will one day forgive you. As for me, I have long been on a quest for enlightenment. Long ago, I met warriors like yourselves in my temple far away. Huh? But how? They were four in number. The warriors left on their vital quest, and thereafter I sank into the deepest meditation. He's reading my thoughts, answering my questions. It's just plain creepy. Who are these four warriors? Ah, I think you children know them very well. After some time passed, I found myself within reach of enlightenment. But then came the earthquakes and typhoons. I had to put people's lives for my own enlightenment, and so I walked out into the world. Are you the one who stole the gemstone from Passage? Yes and no. My work took me to Passage, where its people too were suffering greatly. And that's where I beheld the Ice Queen Stone. My mind, which reads others' thoughts so easily, was flooded with her forceful will. Next thing I knew, I had fled Passage and come to her wrapper with the gemstone. So how did the Ice Queen get freed from the stone? I have been her puppet for all these many years. She has forced me to do her bidding. All I wanted was to help people, but it all went horribly wrong. She escaped the gem with my help, but a true home was inside the stone. The Ice Queen learned she was bound to the stone and could not stray far from it. Should we check out her uh, entry for now? The Ice Queen, this cruel woman was once a prison in a gemstone, luring men who were foolish enough to be attracted by her beauty. Her freezing powers helped revive the Harappa area from near ruin. Ah, really? There's a reason. And so she never let me stray far from her. Our lives have been bound together. And now she's back where she belongs. And you may now take the stone you came for. Matthew gave the Ice Queen stone to Tyrrell. You can definitely not use it. The Ice Queen Stone can be used only by Water Adepts. Equip it to gain Cold Snap Synergy. Now that her petty empire has fallen, the natural flow of light may resume its course. Let us leave this place. Has this place lost its power? The once frozen floors have melted. I doubt one could leave now. What if it's possible to use the ice cream's power to freeze the water once more and create a path? Maybe. Let's move it on to someone who can actually use it. Well, let's give it to Reef because, of course, he doesn't really have much of a role in the back party. The least thing he can do is cast me a synergy or so. Time to ice up the entirety of the floor. Once more, do we have access? There's an extra room to go to there. It looks like to me that we're basically just opening up the shortcut paths again. And to the right as well is probably another shortcut. Let's let those gin reset. And see that we have pretty much explored everywhere, I think. Let's just open it up for cannon's sake. And we need to let the people get through now, you know. Rappens might want to explore it for archaeological findings. Now that I've taken all the treasure chests. Apart from one. One that we will take now. Definitely cooler than Frost. Frost kind of built up on its own steam, I guess. Sploosh! This sounds like it's just cracking into existence. A weapon? You bet it. The Mystery Blade has been given to Tyrrell. Right, Mystery Blade. Mystery Blade, Mystery Blade. That's not Tyrrell. That is a squirrel. A weapon, a light blade. It has way more attack power than ever before. I'm wondering if I should move the storm brand itself, though. Over to you, sir. Because you seem more suitable elementally for it. So Tyrrell now has a storm brand. Matthew has the mystery blade. Because it was better. 
Oh, you can't equip, so you can only attack light blades. Oh! Well, I think I learned something here. You might be able to equip this, but not the one you have. Well, I guess you get the mystery blade then, don't you? Where's your axe again? Equip that. On the whams if we go into battle without a weapon on. We punch them in the face. Or mongers and mad moles. Always enemies to face us. Maybe Amity can one-shot the guys now. Nope. In fact, no one's going to get the kills. Much disappointment. They all had to team up. Spin strike. So he's already good with that one. And he can now attack multiple targets. So that's not bad by us. But we've now the Harappan runes complete. We have the element we need. As we've seen, icy blit that's on the floor. To sort out our cloud, don't we? So as we make our exit, we continue on with Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, next episode. Let's go check out those puddles outside now as well. Bye bye